good morning children welcome to our next max class okay last two classes we had learned how to write the indian and international place value chart and you know how to write the number names to and uh, first you will place the commas and you know how to write the number names and also you know how to write the numerals for the number names right and we had learned place value expanded form for the number that is for the numerals and we have learned the ascending and descending order of the large numbers right and you know how to compare the large numbers today we are going to study formation of numbers we had learned in the last class also formation of numbers if uh, some digits are given more than 4 or 5 digits are given for example if six digits are given you know how to form the numbers right yes suppose forming numbers forming numbers suppose if six digits are given 7 5 2 0 1 3 okay six digits are there you know how to write the largest six digit number largest six digit number is largest six digit number so what you will write largest six digit number first write which is the largest digit you take it that digit write it first we need a number not a digit not a single digit we need the number using the six digits you have to write the number so 7 5 3 2 1 0 this is your largest six digit number and we are going to write the smallest six digit number smallest six digit number right yes so how will you write the smallest six digit number you will start from zero right zero 1 2 3 5 7 this is your six digit number no this is not a six digit number the reason is you have zero in front of the number your first digit is zero so you can't read the number starting with zero so what you will do just interchange this first two digits 1 and 0 now you got the smallest six digit number okay today we are going to study some odd and even numbers largest odd and even numbers okay i am going to take the same six digits and we know how to write the largest six digit and smallest six digit number i am going to find the largest six digit odd number okay how will you find the largest six digit odd number see how will you uh, conclude that the number is a odd number or a even number first check the ones place ones place if you have 0 2 4 6 8 any of these five digits then the number is a uh, even number if you have 1 3 5 7 nine any of these digits if you have in place of ones place that is in a place value chart if you have any of the one digit in ones place then that number is a odd number right okay you know that now check here what is the number here the sorry what is the digit here the digit is 0 if you have 0 2 4 6 and 8 in the ones place then that number is an even number but we need odd number so how to write how to change this largest six digit number as an even number i need the largest six digit number but i need it as an even number so how will you change 7 5 3 2 1 0 sorry odd number i need an odd number not an even number i need an odd number okay so 7 5 3 2 
first you check this is an even number right zero you have in the ones place that is an even number even digit but i need the odd number the ones place you should get the odd digit that is either 1 3 5 7 or 9 so just to check you have 0 here so what you can do with this uh, 0 and 1 you can interchange this 0 and 1 the places so if you change the places 0 and 1 if you interchange the place of 0 and 1 check the ones place digit ones place digit you have 1 unit place you have 1 is this is an odd number yes 1 is an odd number so the given number the written what the number we wrote is our largest number and also a odd number next we are going to write the smallest six digit even number i am going to write the smallest six digit even number so how will you write this smallest six digit we know this is our smallest six digit number okay using these digits we wrote the smallest six digit number check the ones place value ones place you have seven is seven is a even number or odd number seven is an odd number so this is not a even number but we need the answer in even number we need a smallest six digit number but as an even number so how will you write the given number means uh, the number as an even so just to check 1 0 what I can interchange the digits just to check 2 3 7 5 right when I interchange the 7 and 5 is this is correct no because 5 is also an even number sorry odd number let me check the other one 7 you can sorry 3 you can replace in place of 7 ok 1 0 2 5 7 3 is this is an even number no this is not an even number again you can write you can change the digit to sorry 1 0 3 5 7 2 this is your smallest digit and also a smallest six digit number and also a uh, even number so you can cancel this 3 this 3 is not your this is an even sorry smallest digit uh, sorry smallest number but not an even number because you have ones place 7 next when you interchange this 5 and 7 you have 5 in the ones place not an even number next when you change the 7 and 3 what you will get sorry in place of 7 if you put 3 what you will get uh, this is not an even number again when you change this you will get 2 right when you change this 2 and 7 not 2 and 7 2 I am going to write it at the last so 1 0 3 5 7 2 2 in the unit place is an this whole number is an even number got it our next topic is rounding off numbers we have learned how to round off the numbers right nearest tens nearest hundreds and nearest thousand let us recall once again nearest tens suppose you have the number 67 right you have the number 67 so check the ones place if the ones place is greater than 5 how will you uh, round off this number to nearest 10 see first you have to check 67 lies between which two tens 67 lies between 67 lies between 60 and 70 right but how will you choose whether your answer is 60 or 70 very easy methods check the ones place value if the ones place is greater than 5 if it is greater than 5 then you have to round it up to the 
nearest higher tens that is uh, after 67 what is the number 70 so 67 is 67 is rounded to 70 got it suppose the number is 64 so how will you find first write 64 in center and between which two tens the 64 lies it is between 60 and 70 but you have to choose whether 60 or 70 is the answer so how will you choose if you know that if the ones place digit is greater than 5 you have to round that up that means next tens if the ones place digit what is your ones place digit 4 if 4 is sorry yeah if 4 is less than 5 then you have to round that down that is you have to come down come down means come back so 64 is rounded to 60 got it so you know how to round off the uh, numbers nearest tens let us see a three digit number suppose 348 the number is 348 348 okay you have to round it off to nearest tens so nearest tens means just check 348 lies between which two uh, tens it lies between 340 and 350 because i am going to round it off to nearest tens that's why we are writing 340 and 350 it lies between 340 and 350 because you have to check the tens place only because nearest tens the topic is nearest tens we are going to round it off to nearest tens so tens place you check what is the value and you put 0 after that 4 uh, so 340 and 350 between 340 and 350 uh, this 345 uh, sorry 348 lies then check the ones place value 8 if 8 is greater than 5 or less than 5 8 is greater than 5 if 8 is greater than 5 then you have to round that up up means you have to come forward so 348 is rounded to we are writing nearest tens 350 got it next we are going to study nearest hundreds so the same problem i am going to round off to nearest hundreds this is your hundreds place this 3 is in hundreds place and 4 is in tens place and 8 is in ones place so i am going to round it off to nearest hundreds so how will you round it off to nearest hundreds same 348 okay 348 lies between which two hundreds which not this 200 which between which two of the hundreds so 300 lies between 300 and 400 so 348 lies between 300 and 400 so check what you will choose here if the circle the digit if 4 is less than 5 you have to come down move means you have to go backward so 348 is rounded to 300 i think this is clear for you if it is asked nearest tens just check 348 lies between tens place you value check it 48 this 48 lies between 40 and 50 am i right because we are we need nearest tens so what is what is the value you have in the tens place you have the value digit in the tens place is 4 so 48 take together 48 lies between 40 and 50 am i right so between 40 and 50 and you have to select which is the answer correct answer how will you conclude the answer 
by checking check the ones place digit if it is greater than 5 you have to move forward that is you have to round that up if it is less than 5 you have to come back if the number suppose if the number is less than 5 means suppose if you have 3 then your answer is 340 but you have the answer question 348 8 is the what is a 8? 8 is greater than 5. So, you have to round that up to the next tense. So, 350. For uh, next uh, uh, topic, you have nearest hundreds. Same 348. So, hundreds place, what is the digit you check it? Hundreds place, you have 3. So, 300 and 400. This 348 lies between 300 and 400. Check the tens place value. That means the value uh, nearest which uh, place you have to select. See, nearest tens means you have to check the ones place digit. At the right of the tens place, what is the digit? Uh, according to that digit, you have to conclude the answer. So, if it is nearest to 100, that means you have to check the tens place digit right so 300 and 400 348 lies between 300 and 400 so check, check the tens place digit 4 4 is less than 5 so you have to come backward 348 is rounded to 300 got it so let's see one more problem for nearest thousand nearest thousand we are going to study for nearest thousand three thousand two hundred and sorry thirty two thousand four hundred and fifty eight okay we are going to round off the number nearest thousand so how will you round off this number nearest thousand so nearest thousand means just a box put a box for the thousands place ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand right okay ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand so we are going to round off to nearest thousand so write the number in a box we need the uh, we have to round it off to nearest thousand. So, 32,000 because after 2 you put 3 zeros and after 32,000 what will be the next thousand? 33,000. So, 32,000 lies between, uh, sorry, 32,458 lies between 32,000 and 33. So, how will you write this? You have to conclude the answer whether it is 32 or 33,000. So, check the ones, uh, sorry, next place. What is the place next place? Hundreds place. Hundreds places, 4 is less than 5. Am I right? If 4 is less than 5, what you have to do? You have to come backward. So, 3,000, 32,000. 458 is rounded to what is the answer 32,000 I think you got the idea I will explain this problem once again nearest we are going to round off this number to nearest 1000 so I have the 5 digit number first write the place value chart 1's 10's 100's 1000 and 10,000 so, check what is in the thousands place. You have in thousands place 2. So, write 3 to as it is and how many digits you have after that put that much zeros. So, what is the next 1000 for this 32,000? Next 1000 is 33,000. That means this 32,458 lies between 32,000 and 33,000. So, we have now two answers with us, right? Okay, 32,000 and 33,000. So, what you will do? Check that hundreds place uh, value. Here, here, the hundreds place digit is 4. 4's 
4 is less than 5. So you have to come backward. So 32,458 is rounded to 32,000. Right? Next our topic is Roman numerals. In ancient times, Roman people used the uh, alphabets to represent the numbers. So we know that the Roman numerals as uh, this I is represented. For 1, you will represent I and for 5, V, 10, X, 50, L, 100, C, 500, D and 1000, M. You have to buy hard this. I think this uh, I, V, X is very clear for you, right? For uh, 1, you will represent I, 5, you will represent V, 10, x 50 l 100 c 500 d and 1000 m you have the table here children you can copy this table in your notebook if you are clear uh, about this table then it is easy to write the roman numerals for any of the number for 2 you will write 2 times i for 3 you will write 3 times i and for 4, you will write I, V. For 6, V, I. For 6, V, I means for 6, you can write 5 plus 1. Here 5 is V and 1 is I. So join together V, I. Right? Okay. 7, V, I, I. 5 plus 1 plus 1. Here 8, 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That means 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. Ne next 9 i x. Why we are writing i x? Because if you have the smaller uh, alphabet before this uh, to the left hand side of the alphabet. If you have the smaller alphabet in the first then you have to subtract. So x is 10, 10 minus 1 you will get the 9. So, if you copy down this, uh, if you by heart this table, then it is easy to write the Roman numerals for any of the number. 20 means your x is 10. So, 20 means 2 times x. 30 means 3 times x. And for 50, you know L. So, 40, you will subtract what? L minus x. That is L is 50. So, 50 minus 10 is 40. Next, 50 plus 10 is 60. 50 plus 10 plus 10 is 70. 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, 80. 90. Why we are writing xc? Because c is greater than x. c is greater than x. So, xc means, so if you have the C that is one's place. Uh, if you have the right hand side, if you have the greater alphabet, then you have to subtract. So C minus X. What is your C? C is 100. X is 10. So 100 minus 10 is 90. Next for 200, you will write C, C because 2 times 100. So C, C, 300. 3 times C, 400. C, D. Why we are writing C, D? Because D is greater than C. D is greater than C? Yes. If you study this table, you can write the table, uh, this table by yourself. So, D is greater than C. So, 500 minus 100. If you have the greater alphabet here, that is 500 is greater than 100. So, you can subtract this D minus C. D is 500 minus c is 100 you will get the 400 next 600 what is your 600 d c why d c because c is less than d right c is less than d yes because 100 is less than 500 so you can write d c 500 plus 600 sorry 500 plus 100 is 600 next d c C, 500 plus 100 plus 100, 700. 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 800. Next, 900 is your C, M. Because M is greater than C. Right? 
so we are subtracting this m minus c what is a m thousand thousand minus hundred thousand minus hundred is nine hundred children by heart this table by heart the this table that is i v x i denotes one v denotes five x denotes ten and after that how you will remember this l c d m after uh, x you will have l c d m l is you will write put one one zero add to the next number for five you will add one zero and for ten instead of ten you will add one more zero here for c then one more zero you will add for fifty and for hundred you will have add for thousand you will add one more zero okay you got it okay next we are going to uh, study some uh, roman numbers sorry yeah we are going to write the uh, roman numerals for this numbers so how will you write first i am going to write this 10 as 10 plus 7 right 17 you can write it as 10 plus 7 what is your 10 you know that 10 is x next what is your 7 7 is v i i i this is your 17 next 46 so 46 how can you split 40 plus 6 so 40 what is your 40 x l write it next 6 what is your 6 v i so we got the 46 Next ninety three ninety you can write it as sorry ninety three you can write it as ninety plus three what is your ninety x c what is your three three times i right okay next seventy two seventy two how will you write seventy plus two what is your seventy l x x what is your two I think you got the idea. So by heart this table, I represents one, then V represents ah uh, five, X represents ten. Next L C D M ten fifty sorry fifty hundred five hundred and thousand. Then draw this table by heart this one. Using this table you can draw the another table by yourself. For two you know. Three and till nine, you know already. And for twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sorry, sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. And for hundreds, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, and nine hundred. It is easy. So how will you write x x x x x three times x? So like that, you have to draw this table in your class book and find the Roman numerals for the. numbers you can uh, take some examples between uh, 10 to uh, 10 not uh, yeah 10 to 100 and do it by yourself find the roman num numerals it will be very interesting okay we had discussed what are the topics we discussed today rounding of numbers formation of numbers that is formation of numbers even and odd digit number right formation of numbers rounding of numbers and roman numerals right i'll give you one example for your uh, formation of numbers will tell you this is one example you have five digits here you have to write it in a largest five digit number so you know what is your largest five digit number right 9 right in as uh, descending order 9 6 4 1 0 this is your largest five digit number but we need a odd number so is the ones place values a odd digit no so what you will do you will interchange this so 96401 is your odd digit number next we need the smallest even digit number smallest first write what is your smallest in the rough column you have to write the smallest digit number so 0 1 4 6 9 this is your smallest but this is not a five digit number this is a four digit number 
because 0 you will not have in front. So, 10469 is your smallest 5 digit number. But I need the answer as an even number. Here, once place digit you have 9. So, interchange the 6 and 9, you will get smallest 5 digit even number and we got the largest 5 digit odd number. Okay. So, we had learned what is formation of digits means formation of a number and we are going to round it off to nearest hundreds. This number I am going to round it off to nearest hundreds. So, how will you round it off to nearest hundred? 10496. So, ones place, tens place, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. So, what is in the um, hundreds place? You have four, right? So, 10496 lies between 10400, 10500, right? Because we are writing for the nearest hundreds. We are find, going to find round off to nearest hundreds. So, check the hundreds place. What is the digit? So, according to that you have to write it. So, 10400 and 10500. Next, check the right place of the uh, hundreds place. What you have? 9, right? 9 is greater than 5. If it is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then you have to round it up. That is 1496 is rounded to, you can write rounded to 10,000. 500. This is the answer. So, you know how to form a number using the given digits and you know how to form the even number and an odd number using the given digits. And also we had learned how to round off the nearest tens, nearest hundreds and nearest thousand. Right? And Roman numerals. Study that two tables. You can uh, write the uh, numbers in your Roman numbers by yourself it is very easy so we'll discuss in the next class the other uh, next chapter uh, according to this uh, this topic sir uh, you will get the homeworks in google classroom that's all for today thank you bye bye